Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing an English video and the topic is very long awaited, very long overdue and kind of highly requested, which is my 27 things I learned at 27. So I've been doing this video for the past two years. Um, I did one when I was 25 and then one when I turned 26. I turned 27 in late November, so it's around a month. I know that I'm gonna be doing this video. I still feel like some of the things I talked about in the past two years are still valid until today. I kept thinking, okay, what else I can bring to the table? What are the things I actually felt and I can share more in depth with you guys? So honestly, it wasn't easy because I feel like in the past year, I was learning a lot and I don't feel confident enough to, you know, share that, okay, this is it. Like, this is what you're gonna do. But regardless, I still put together 27 things I would like to share with you guys this year. So it took me a month and I hope you enjoy this video. And please just forgive my English or grammar or accent because I know my English has gone bad. <laughs> oh, the other is killing me. Number one, age isn't scary. I really felt this one from the bottom of my heart because I started feeling that I'm scared of getting old and having birthdays every year uh, after I turned 20 or 21 because oh, oh my god like time flies after you turn 21 let me tell you in the past year I really felt like I am just where I'm supposed to be like I was 26 and I was doing everything I can at 26 years old there was nothing I can do for my 26 when I was 25 and there's nothing I can add to my 26 considering now I'm 27 so I truly believe that adding age is just a process and to be honest now I feel like aging is beautiful because aging means that you have gained more experiences you have matured and you can do more things based on the mistakes that you have done in the past. Embrace your age and 27 is beautiful. My 26 was beautiful and I believe that my 28, 29, 30 will be beautiful as well. Number two, thoughts are just thoughts until you actually take action. Someday is not a day. Um, I also feel very strongly about this because I feel like I'm already someone who is willing to take actions. But even that, I found myself having so many excuses to not do a thing. For example, exercise. I can convince myself a hundred reasons not to do an exercise, even just 10 minutes a day. Or even other things like, I wanna study Korean, I want to start a small business, I want to do da 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 da. And the thinking process of, okay, I'm gonna do this another day. I'm gonna do this someday. Until you actually take actions, it doesn't make anything. Um, I've been thinking about having my own podcast for, I would say for, three months until I actually did it. And and I postponed it for so many different reasons and excuses. But you know, like I actually did it and it felt so good. It felt like I actually accomplished something and crossed it off my list and it feels amazing. So if you really wanna do something, plan it and do it because it's amazing. Number three, buy quality things that are good for the value. This is something I emphasize a lot this year since I'm 27 and I'm fortunate enough to have a more solid foundation uh, financially. So I try to buy things that are not always the cheapest, but I care more about the quality and the longevity of the product that I can use it for. For example, I would buy a better quality clothes or I would buy a better quality couch just because I know that I will get more use out of it instead of just throwing away, you know, having trouble with a product within a year, let, let's say. And I've grown to appreciate my things more than before. But if you're still a student or your income is not as stable yet, of course, keep it your own way. I'm just fortunate enough to be in my position right now. Number four, don't settle for something you don't absolutely love. I have learned this the hard way, just for example, this couch. So at first I actually got a cheaper and smaller couch. I was like, maybe this will work. I think it will work and I don't absolutely love the couch and so I got it and I just absolutely hated it <laughs> so I ended up selling my old couch and then got a new one and I fell in love with this one I know that I will get more used out of it just don't settle on something that you don't necessarily love because you're just gonna end up spending more money to fix it <laughs> number five explore your style and taste 
27 years old, it's never too late to do that. So everyone knows that I live in my pajamas, I live in my sweatshirts and my jeans. But this year, I've been really trying to explore different styles and fashion and taste and all that kind of stuff. 27 years old, it's never too late to do that. Even you're 35, I don't think it's too late to do that either. Number six, there are people who were born in the 2000s and they're 20 something now. It's difficult to accept, but that's reality. <laughs> Number seven, call your parents. Um, I'm 27 right now and my parents are in their 60s. Time flies and your parents will grow old. So just call them. Call them now after this video. Number eight, show appreciation to people around you. So I'm very lucky to have a group of friends that I feel very grateful to call them my friends and since the pandemic has been going on for oh my god like almost a year i don't see them often and because of that i think it's important to show them your appreciation number nine be grateful for your smaller and smaller social circle i've talked about this again and again and i really feel this in from the bottom of my heart too when you left school, you'll realize that not only it's hard to make friends, it's hard to maintain your friends. You have different lifestyles, you have different uh, group of friends, and everyone's career is different. And that will make a huge difference. And don't feel sad about people come and go because people do come and people do go. Just treasure the people around you and who actually stick around. I do feel like you don't really need a lot of friends. Trying to be friends with everyone is unrealistic. You can have 10 friends and you'll be super happy. Number 10, drink at home. Drinking at home is the best thing I've learned this year because first of all, you save money. Second of all, when you're drunk, you can literally just go to sleep. Number 11, invest your money in one way or another. This is something I have been very into recently, which is personal finance. Um, I learned about how you can invest your money in different ways. First of all, you can invest in stock or you can invest in a fund or you can invest in your personal growth. For example, you want to register for an English class or you want to you know, learn how to make coffee. And I truly believe that money doesn't necessarily need to be in the money form. It's not just a number in your bank account. It can also transform into something that can enhance yourself. It can make you happy. It can you know, help you in your career one way or another. So invest yourself, invest whether it's physical money or your personal growth, it's gonna be worth it. Number 12, it's equally important to figure out what you don't want to do as to figure out what you want to do. I got so many messages and people tell me they're confused, they don't know what to you know, do with their lives and they're confused after graduation. If you don't like what you're doing, don't see it as a failure or a waste of time. Treat it as a sign that you don't like this. And then you can use the methods of elimination. Just cross it off, off the list and then figure something out. Go to try something different. Life is not about right and wrong. Life is just a multiple choice exam, kind of. <laughs> Number 13. Don't try to see the path laid out in front of you as I used to be someone who plans everything. So I like to see a path. I like to see, you know, like what I'm going to be. But then I quickly realized that this is just not gonna work because life is unexpected. <laughs> I think even the successful people, they are also learning along the way. So they're not like, okay, I'm, this is the textbook. I follow the textbook and I'm gonna be successful. It's not always like that. So everyone is learning as we go. And I think you should do that too. Number 14, fight for your own right. No one is responsible for you, not even your parents, because you're gonna be an adult. You're gonna make your own decision someday. And being able to fight for your own rights and fight for what you deserve is very important. Number 15, sesame oils makes everything taste better. It is a fact. Number 16, learn to love your flaws. So my flaws and my insecurity would be my teeth and my monolid. I know that a lot of people say that my teeth are yellow and I not against that because that's actually true. Um, it's something that I don't have much control over because first of all, I'm naturally having yellowish teeth. 
and secondly I didn't take care of my teeth when I was young so there are a lot of trouble with my teeth I wish to have a handle when I'm back to Taiwan I think around a month or two ago I want to have a bigger eyes I want to be more photogenic and stuff but I just hated the tape and I hated the fact that people tell me to use the tape because I look better you know what I think my eyes are unique and they are not very generic type of eyes this will still be my flaws i guess for a while but i try to see it as my unique feature rather than something i want to change number 17 everyone is an unique individual i've said this in my podcast once everyone is an unique individual your parents your brothers or sisters included i think a lot of times we feel like we're entitled to something or we're obligated to do something when in reality when you think about everyone is an individual it doesn't make sense to to always prioritize other individual over yourself obviously this is just one way of thinking so so i'm just giving you guys another perspective when you're making a decision number 18 less complaints sometimes you're not really mad you just want to complain for the sake of nothing i am someone who's very very uh easy to get mad like i get mad because of very teeny tiny things in the past year i really try to hold back my temper my anger and when i really think about it most of the time i'm not really really that mad i just literally want to complain so i first of all would just take a deep breath and give myself three seconds to decide whether i'm really really mad or i'm just somehow mad but not really number 19 don't get offended too easily really um, some people are just mean and some people might just not have their coffee yet so number 20 don't feel bad about doing things alone find your way to feel comfy and relax everyone knows that i love being alone i love living by myself i love me some alone time and i really encourage you guys to enjoy your personal time it's not embarrassing to go to a restaurant by yourself it's not sad to spend your birthday alone it's not a bad thing to be alone in general try to figure out what makes you feel comfortable and peaceful number 21 wear sunscreen please do it when you're doing some outer activities wear your freaking sunscreen otherwise you're gonna regret it like me number 22 the best moment of all time is the present i have mentioned this in the previous video i think and that's something that i've always kept in mind that i should really treasure the present moment because it's gonna pass there's no turning back number 23 dehumidify your closet oh my goodness especially in summer if you don't use any sort of dehumidifier your closet is gonna smell bad i mean like Number 24, the only thing that stops you from doing Chloe Ting's abs workout is that you're lazy. Yes, you can do this. Number 25, do the unfamiliar things. This applies to no matter how old are you. Because I feel like a lot of things that makes me happy are the things that I did outside my comfort zone. So, YOLO! Number 26, try to give back when you can. So in the past year, they are so many bad things happen in this world from earlier this year the australian fire to the pandemic our environments our nature and thousands of thousands of refugees that suffered not only from the wars but also from the pandemic and now the cold from the winter so i decided to try give back by not just donation but also you know like being aware what's happening and what else i can do for the cause that i care and last but not least number 27 don't let others define you i have said this in the previous two videos but i still want to emphasize that in today's video do not let others define who you are because you are a unique individual and you are amazing just being who you are okay and here sums up my 27 things i learned at 27. this might sound a little bit cringy and a little bit just like <laughs> well i do hope that these might be able to inspire you in one way or another and as always i really appreciate you guys so we're about to say goodbye to 2020 and i don't know if 2021 will be better because i've said that 2020 is gonna be better last year but you know 
But regardless, let's just be hopeful and positive as much as we can. Early Happy New Year. I hope you guys will like this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! And to the starlight avenue When the night could be sweet Until you swept me